Now I want to share a very simple project with you that involves flower arranging. And you may say, I have no ability to arrange flowers. Well, this is so simple, anyone can do it. It's just floating blossoms in water. And I just want to show you some things that I hope will help. I'm using this bowl, which is clear, to help illustrate the point. But you can use any type of large body of water you'd like. What large, I mean broad and shallow. Depth is not important. One of the things I love to do is just take knockout roses like this. This is that double pink. You just place them in the water like that. And you can mix it with some old fashioned. I typically cut the little buds off the side. You don't need much of a stem. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix a lot of flowers that are actually um, in the same color family, pinks and whites. This is a beautiful peony, one called Sarah Bernhardt that I grow out at the farm. There you see. Just, how beautifully it flows. And this is an apricot colored rose, one called Colette, that I'm going to float in here along with the knockouts. And you can see they're just natural for this. So this is a really easy way. You want blooms that are more blown open, like this one's beginning to get there. But these buds are just a little too tight. So you want a broad-based bloom. Let's get a few more of these old-fashioned ones. This one's called Caldwell Pink. I've grown this one for years. And then even clematis. Let me find a good clematis here to show you how they can also add a different flower form. Look at that. Looks like a water lily floating in there. And here's one more to float in here with these different flowers. And then I'm going to add just a few more of these bright pink knockouts to balance the color a little bit. But just think about this for a dinner party or having guests over, how quick and simple this is. You don't need long stem flowers and you can take on any color theme you like. Look at that. Isn't that great?